and welcome to Martha's Vineyard Airport. I took a very early flight this morning and I'm taking an evening flight tomorrow so I could get the most out of two days in Martha's Vineyard. Uh, hotels are extremely expensive here, but I got a really cheap flight so I'm staying one night at a $250 hotel and I'm gonna make the most of this weekend. So right now I'm just waiting for a $2 bus to take me into Edgar Town where I'm going to get a two day bike rental and take that on a ferry to Chappaquiddick Island. took like 10 minutes for me to get my bike, get down to the dock, take this ferry across to Chappaquiddick Island. It was so smooth and quick. I biked three minutes to the dock and I took this like two minute ferry to Chappaquiddick Island where I am right now and my plan is to head towards the bridge. So my first stop here on uh, Chappaquiddick Island is this My Toy Japanese Garden. It's five dollars to get in, which is not bad because it includes access to the beach by Dyke Bridge. And as you enter, there's this really cool whale skull of the North Atlantic whale, which is the most endangered whale with only 400 left. This, this particular skull washed up apparently on the beach. They didn't kill it for this skull. at this time and place because it's not that crowded it's very peaceful and I even found a covered area to sit and relax a while that's not wet and it smells really good all the flowers here in the garden have really beautiful smells it's very peaceful exactly what I needed Chappaquiddick Island is probably most famous for being the location of a car accident with former Senator Ted Kennedy that resulted in the death of Mary Jo Kopechne. This dike bridge is where their car skidded off into Poucha Pond. Ted Kennedy was able to swim free and claims he tried to rescue Mary Jo but was unable. Controversy surrounds this event since Ted Kennedy did not report the incident until 10 a.m. the next morning. like the view and the peace and have a snack. I had to relocate because the spot I was sitting at before
before got hit by a wave before I could move my butt and my overnight bag. Oops. I hope none of my clean clothes smell like rotten sea. So I took a look at my Google Maps and it looks like I've walked about 2,000 feet, which is pretty good, but I still have a ways to go if I wanted to walk all the way to the lighthouse, so that's not happening, but it's very nice to be on this beach, especially when the people have gotten far enough away where you feel like you have the entire place to yourself. I saw this sign for a farm here on the way down. So on the way back, I stopped and they have this cute little farm stand, schoolhouse where you can buy things on the honor system. It's absolutely adorable and definitely worth a stop. I'm thinking of buying a cucumber, but I need to wash it really well. Hot house cucumber for $2, kind of expensive. The sun has come out and I've come to my last stop here on Chappaquiddick Island, which is Chappie Point Beach. It's not really a sea beach, it's like a bay beach, but uh, it's really beautiful. You can see the lighthouse, lighthouse beach. I thought that was the lighthouse I was trying to get to when I crossed the dike bridge, but it's actually a lighthouse on um, Edgertown, the place where I got my bike this morning, and that's why it seems so close. I thought it was so I could easily go to it after this, which I might do, but I think I'm probably going to get some lunch once I get back to the mainland island of Martha's Vineyard <laughs> because I am hungry. But it's nice to take a little break here and enjoy the beautiful blue water and the sunshine and all the seashells on the beach. There were no seashells on the other beach. It's amazing how different a beach could be depending on where it faces and what the conditions are. and most popular lobster roll, so I'm very excited for it. I was freaking starving. I'm glad I got the salad too, to be healthy. I'm not really sure that dining experience was worth it. It was super crowded. No one was wearing a mask, even in the bathrooms, and the lobster roll wasn't even that good. It was big at least, but it was kind of dry, and the bread wasn't very buttery or flavored at all. I've gotten kind of spoiled, I guess, when it comes to lobster rolls, but next time I'm gonna get it to go or not come back to this restaurant. It's too crowded. I'm sorry, I'm not ready for this brave new world of not worrying about coronavirus. So, I am planning on taking my bike on an eight mile ride up 
north to Tisbury where my hotel is, but before I do that, I want to see at least one lighthouse today. a children's memorial and one of the cool things I read about it is that you can rent it out for events I bet it's super expensive but it'd be so cool to like get married here or something like that you know have an anniversary party I'm really glad I came to this lighthouse because you can see a part of Chappaquiddick that I couldn't possibly walk to. There's like bluffs. They're gorgeous. I bet they're even more gorgeous if you're close up. There's also a bird behind me like diving for food. I don't see that very often. A black skinny bird, maybe a swan or something. The day really got away from me super quick. When I got here, I'm like, oh, it's so early still. Now it's like almost dinner time. So I'm gonna start the long, uh, hopefully scenic bike ride to where my hotel is. I hope you've enjoyed exploring Chappaquiddick Island with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my travels, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, bye.